What is up everybody? This is Matt back with another video from the Hardcover Comic. Now, as I've stated in other videos, Mike is uh going to be showing you as a collection video, hopefully. Um, I've been asking the man to do it for quite some time, and I think he's finally going to break down and record his collection. Um, it's incredible. He has a really nice collection. I think a lot of you guys would appreciate it. Um, that being said, I haven't done anything in a while. I did a Luther Strode video. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but anyways, moving on. Um, another book that Mike uh, hasn't had a chance to really dive into yet or, or really look at, so I figured I would go ahead and post a video of it, show you guys an overview. We're a little late on it. Uh, but it's none other than the Justice League International Omnibus, uh, the JLI Omnibus. Uh, Keith Giffen, J.M. DeMatteis, Kevin McGuire. This beauty right here. Now, this thing is huge, okay? This is a very large omnibus. It's... Uh, 1,200 pages, 1,300 pages, something like that. I don't recall the exact number, but it is a large omnibus. Um, the bind is, from what I've seen, great. I haven't really had a chance to dive into the book and read it yet or anything like that. I've read a couple issues. That's about it. Um, so, really, you guys are going to be discovering the book as I discover the book because, like I said, I haven't really had a chance to dive into it yet. I've actually been reading a lot of uh, the Bronze Age Swamp Thing omnibus, which is phenomenal i strongly recommend the bronze age swamp thing omnibus mike did an overview on it if you haven't seen it already go check it out um that book is great and uh i actually had a custom dj um there was someone in a uh, group that i'm in he created a custom dust jacket for it i fell in love with it that was a really 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 cool dust jacket um he sent me the files because he's that nice of a guy so kevin thank you very much sir um, probably don't even watch this, but if you do, thank you. Um, so maybe I'll do another video of the Swamp Thing Omnibus once I get the custom dust jacket so you guys can see it. It is a thing of beauty. So gorgeous. Um, anyways. So, JLI. Um, removing the dust jacket and the, uh, the book itself, the... Maybe, here we go. So the book itself is really the exact same as the dust jacket. Minus the spine writing, it says characters there. Um, one of my personal favorites, Animal Man. Uh, followed by, uh, I don't even know how, Kilowog and, uh, why can't I, I'm drawing a blank here on some of these names. It should, really shouldn't be. Anyways, it's been a long time. Um, wonderful, wonderful title, Justice League International. Um, from what I have read, it's a funny book. It's really good. Really great writing. Really good stories uh, from the futures that I've read. And the overviews and things that I've seen from everybody else. Really solid stuff. Uh, but it also has a nice sense of humor to it. Uh, they didn't take themselves too seriously, which I thought was really cool. Um, anyways. After you get the book nice and broken in, it is a big book. So please make sure you break it in before you start just flipping through pages and opening. But... As you can see, sewn binding. Um, overall, the book feels good. It doesn't feel like it's, uh, you know, like the some of the old like Green Lantern omnibuses and uh, uh, the uh, the Fifty Two omnibus. Oh, that one especially. That one was a horrible bind. Um, this one doesn't feel like that at all. It feels really solid. It feels really good. There's zero gutter loss in this book. I mean, you can see right through, well, if I can get it up here for you guys, the way that they designed it and things and they reprinted the pages, there's absolutely zero gutter loss. You're not missing anything. Um, the reprinting, you know, looks gorgeous. The recoloring, everything looks really, really good and solid on this book. Like I said, I wish I could speak to the stories more, but I haven't really read all of them yet. Um, I've read very few. Uh, the book itself, though, is, like I said, really, really, really solid. Um, I do kind of wish that the, the book was slightly different than the dust jacket. Though it's kind of bugged me when it's, like, the exact same thing as the dust jacket. Uh, they did that with the Batman, um, Arkham Knight ones as well. And it's just, I don't know how I feel about it. It's sort of, I don't know. It's weird. Anyway... Um, but yeah, so you kind of have the who's who here. I mean, you got on the front Superman, Flash, Batman, Green Lantern, Booster Gold, uh, Blue Beetle, Lobo, 
Doctor Fate, you know, Hawkman, Hawk Girl. You got a lot of the different characters on there. Shazam. Uh, I'm not sure who some of these more obscure characters are. Uh, looks like Granny Goodness, Joker. Yeah, no idea. Pied Piper. Um, anyways, the one thing I did just notice on my book, because I'm gonna, I want to show you guys here this, is that when I opened it. And I have broken it in, but when I opened it and it kind of, well, maybe this was from something else, but anyways, I just noticed I have a very small crease. Can't even really see it in the camera, but there's a really small crease in the spine of the book and I'm not sure. I just now noticed it, so I have no idea how it got there. I'm not sure if it's from when opening. Doesn't appear to be from opening. I don't know. Anyways, just be careful in opening because it is a massive book. It's very heavy, very large. So be careful in opening it so you don't get, um, you know, damage your books in any way, get creases in it, fold over. Like, for instance, I have a Fantastic Four Volume 1 Omnibus. Um, I got it super, super cheap, so I'm not going to complain at all about this. Um, but, when, <laughs> but when you open the book, um, the cover, the spine, it... it folds over on itself. It's really weird looking. Maybe I'll do a video of it just so you guys can see, but it just sort of folds over onto itself. It's bizarre. Um, I don't want that to happen with this book, but I'm afraid it will. Um, but once again, could just be a weird, but overall though, like I said, the book feels fine other than that small crease that I discovered, um, which could have been my own doing too. I, I don't know. But uh, anyways, really awesome book. So read this let me know what you guys think if you guys have read this book before comment below and let us know what your guys' thoughts on this i've heard rave reviews about it and like i said the few issues i've read i've really enjoyed but lately i've been i've been hooked on my swamp thing lately um so anyways let us know below please like share subscribe um we broke a thousand subscribers so thank you guys very much for that uh me and mike are very very happy about it it's probably more mike's doing than mine because he does way more videos than i do but uh either way thank you very much and uh please like subscribe and share and until next time the power is yours